Hi everybody, gonna kinda do some cereal vi um, videos right now. And then I will upload the one today and I'll probably upload the other one. I'm just kinda getting them ready. Since I know next week I will not be doing videos, at least with the dolls. Um, with my parents here, they're not exactly uh, doll friendly, shall I put it. Um, they don't like my dolls at all. They think they're a waste of money and, you know, my dad spends all this money on cars and going to car shows and stuff like that, but, you know, heaven forbid I spend a hundred dollars on a doll and then maybe another hundred dollars on some doll clothes or baby clothes, which I can turn around and sell anyway. But I am going to be changing Mr. Rory. Um, I'm going to be putting him in this. Um, it's a 100, 101 Dalmatian sleeper. I am hoping it fits. It says it's size 9 months. But um, I know when my parents are here, he will probably end up in the closet. Sad to say. Um, Luna, they know about Luna, so she'll probably stay in the crib. And I'll probably put um, Ryan in the crib as well. Have Luna on one side and Ryan on the other. And then pretty much just not let them go in my closet. But when before I had kids, when I was into dolls then to... Um, my parents hated that I took them around and I mean this was before even making videos like I would take them out I would dress them my husband and I would take them like if we go out to eat we would bring one with sometimes or if we go to a movie or go have a picnic in the park or whatever and I was always getting comments from them about that <coughs> that they thought it was a waste of money and blah 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 and it's like you know what it's what makes me happy at that point we knew we weren't ready for kids we knew we couldn't afford real kids um, or babies and actually a lot of the stuff that I bought for my dolls ended up being used with my son so and it's not like I was just buying it for the fun of it. It did end up getting used. And some things we did sell and then bought new for when we had our son. But, like, she'll make calm. Like, when I got my baby think it over again, I mean, the first reply out of my mom's mouth was, Oh, I hope you're not going to be weird with it again. You're not you know they're fake, they're not real, and just went on this whole tangent again, which I care not to listen to, so. Um, I had that pack and play up in the spare bedroom for hopefully Crystal coming. Um, her and I need to talk about that some more. Um, so I had to take that down. So that is put in the spare closet. And like I said, he will probably end up in our closet and the two there and the car seat will probably end up in the garage. That's sitting next to the playpen or the crib. But this will be cute for Disney Monday. So this will probably be, be posted today's Monday. So it'll probably be posted next Monday and it actually fits him really well. Aside from around the neck which I was having problems with that prior to doing the video his head kept falling off so I really need to start looking for a new body for him I am I asked Crystal and Crystal's kind of a, a loss too so if anybody has any ideas that are not eBay because the only bodies I found on eBay are bountiful babies bodies which is the one I'm having issues with and bountiful babies but I, excuse me, hopefully <coughs> I can see him a little better. I know this lighting isn't the best. 
<coughs> to try to prop the changing pad up a little bit to see them so it's not a flat angle. But so Mr. Rory is dressed in this cute Dalmatian for Disney Mondays. Um, Eventually, I hope to get to the dollar store, maybe tomorrow after my doctor appointment. I know for a while they had some passies that were 101 Dalmatians, and now that I know this actually fits him. Maybe find a passy and make a magnetic passy for him. Um, and I'm still trying to find somebody that can reborn him for me. Um... I'm hoping to only pay like around 200. I I want painted hair. I don't want it doesn't need to be rooted hair and even at this point bald hair. But um, one quote I got was $600. I'm thinking I've already bought the bountiful baby kit. I've bought the glass beads. I just need the kit painted. I mean, I can even assemble the kit. <clears throat> And they were dead set that it was going to cost $600 to reborn the kit that I already own. <clears throat> now, going to eBay, I can buy a complete doll. I didn't buy the kit. It was completely finished, painted, hair done with little doodads and other goodies that go home with the baby to the mommy for less than $600. And it's the same. It's a bountiful baby sculpt. So... I know that the painting, it takes time to do. I know that. I understand that. I get it. It's an art form. I I fully understand that. It's the fact that some artists, and I'm not going to name names at who was the one that gave me the $600 quote, but some artists, I just, I think their ego gets in the way of how much they charge so I just yeah I'm still kind of on the look for getting him done and like I said even at this point leaving him bald and just getting his head painted and getting his I've got hair mohair that I could even put on him that I found in the garage that I bought years ago that was packaged well there was no moisture in it it's not frizzy it's still super soft mohair that even i would be because bountiful babies vinyl is really soft um that i would even be willing to possibly you know try doing the hair but the paintings where i'm running into the issue because i don't have paint but I hope you enjoyed this quick video of changing Mr. Rory. So I hope everybody has a good evening. Bye. <coughs>